What's going on guys? Sync Wavy back again with some more GVO2 and um, we're going to be doing the top 10 raids and we're going to kind of do it a little bit different we're going to start off from number one count and down so first of all at number one we have the bottom oak no no you don't, you don't agree well no bro like it's top tier now bro what do you mean it's literally did you not see the boss that it got, bro? Like, it can not get staggered in the airstrike and everything, um, and it can just beat you up while right, uh, the airstrike is raining death on you. Like, now nah, I'm trolling, bro. The real number, top, <laughs> number 10 is Hyakushiki. Now, Hyakushiki has kind of fallen off. Obviously, it's not going to be the best 650. Um, I'm pretty sure I kick it at 650. Now I'm actually thinking. Um, uh, I think it did get 650. But anyway, even if it didn't, this is going to be your best bet uh, compared to other 650s. If you don't have. Uh, even if you have a 600 Yakushiki, it, it will still do pretty decent at 650 because it's got decent uh, defenses. Um, no, it's it's just a, a basic suit, you know. It's like you know, the instant stun beam rifle. It's got the 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 sticky shot. Um, you know, it's got a decent downswing, double dodge roll. Um, very high, obviously defense. Obviously, you can build it pretty tanky. Um, so it definitely can uh, still be viable at the higher cost. But obviously. There's a, there are way more picks. That's why this is at number 10, but at least it's on the list at number 10. This means this is a suit you can pick, and I don't think anyone will really flame you for like trying to use this suit, because it's not that bad, you know? Yeah, obviously it's gonna have a little bit of a hard time. It's not got any, you know, stagger accumulation, like the other suits um, higher up. You know, so it's gonna have like hard times versus like sizes and stuff to like, you know, it's gonna have just a hard time in general because a lot of a lot of the suits um, that it's going to fight, like the supports are really strong at 650. So, but yeah, this is number 10, and we're gonna move on to the next one. We have here at number nine the Gabara Tetra. Uh, the Barra Tetra um, didn't long ago just get a buff. Very, very good suit so, you now. Um, like, it's kind of ridiculous how good it is. Like, at breaking, like, maneuver armor. Like, it's more better at its um, native cost at 550, but it wouldn't be too bad at 650, honestly. Like, like I said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have an easier time. Um, at breaking suits, uh, damage control and stuff like that, um, phases, shot dampers, you know, all that type of stuff. It's going to be have a really good time. It's got obviously really good range too, um, and with the gap there and everything. Like it's it's just got that accumulation to actually hang in 650. Like other suits above it, it's not going to be obviously the best pick. But I still believe that it can still work at this cost range. Um, and obviously, they, like I have to fit these guys in here because there really isn't that many raids. Um, like level 1 uh, 650s, right? So some of the lower cost suits are going to be brought up into it. And they, they can actually do something. Like they're not just like completely writ off, you know. Now like, these suits... Are the, the strongest suits around their cost range, you know? Um, they obviously with with this suit 550, obviously, you know, the number one is the Bau, obviously, but this is definitely way uh, way it's even better than the Bau at you know accumulating stun, you know. So, but the Bau obviously overall is a monster. We will get to that. Maybe later on, um, but yeah, if you don't have, you know, 
any of the suits above and you got your Cabrera Tetra at 650 uh, pull him out man like I'm pretty sure you will do very well he's good at po uh, long range poking um, is decent damage all around like it's basically an all around raid like it's more focused for range but it can definitely go in for melee and do considerably good damage in melee uh, combat so yeah that is the Gibera Tetra at number nine and at number eight um probably a lot of people's favorite um like especially back in the day is the gpo2 beam bazooka now the gpo2 beam bazooka why do i put it above this suit uh it got this got buffed also like it's got extra range on this beam bazooka extra damage you know it just makes it way more solid um it's got a massive shield to protect it um it can do long range poke and it can uh, build up stun accumulation also like against like you know a lot of suits like it's got the best vulcans in the game right so this suit is definitely at eight. Um, you could say it, it like you could say like if like you know if you didn't have like the suits above again like you can bring this suit out at six fifty. It's gonna have obviously a hard time. But, like I think most of the lower cost most of the lower cost suits are gonna have a little bit of a harder time. But like these, these are very viable. Like it does have the tools to actually do work at um, uh, 650. So yeah, I wouldn't actually sleep on these suits completely. Um, I was just trying to fill in the top 10 slots with suits that I feel like are still viable also at this cost range. Um, and yeah. Um, we got BB at number eight, and then we're going to dive right on to the next one. At number seven, we have the trusty A1. Now, A1 kind of gets some a little bit of downplay. People like you know they don't you know they don't you don't really see this suit that much. It's kind of like the underdog, uh, like more of a closer native it's not a native to 650 but it's obviously level 2 to 650 which is obviously closer than the other suits below it um to be fair like this suit is really good but like some of the like, like i said this is why i put um some of those suits in the list like bb and the cabrera tetra because they actually will have a lot more easier time against certain supports and even some ge generals that have like damage control and maneuver armor and stuff like this suit is gonna have a little bit of hard time to actually deal with those type of suits um but it's definitely still solid um you know um definitely still solid like i've made it work a lot of times i've seen other people make it work a lot of times super strong um melee basically one of the tankiest uh, raids out there like it's easy to max out beam and melee resistance and it's got like 20 20k hp at 650 so very tanky and also it doesn't really sacrifice much in damage because my um my suit currently has like uh 50 beam 50 melee like 46 range strength and like 50 56 or something like that um melee so doesn't really sacrifice much to gain its stats like that you know that takes away from uh, its actual damage you know so you can definitely build it pretty nice it's kind of it kind of reminds me of a uh, tristan now tristan you know you can like pretty much max out its defenses and still have decent um melee strength and all that it's basically similar uh to that 
it's it's slightly better actually because you can get more range out of it too um which obviously this suit does hurt like um it's definitely solid like the transformation i feel like in transformation like, i don't want it to be like the harm be but i feel like it should be able to shoot a little bit more not as much as the harm be but i feel like it should shoot a little bit more like we get a bit, a bit more shots out of the the five beam cannons one when, when in transformation and yeah maybe you know maybe that could be a slight buff to it if that it gets but you know even if it doesn't get that it's still a solid pick it's not going to be your most um you know the top tier picks obviously i think everybody knows what the top tier picks are at 650 are um but yeah we got uh, zeta a1 at number seven and we shall move on and at number six we have the Arjaja which yeah the Arjaja man like I'm pretty sure this is we got a 600 cross but the tools that it has allows it to play at 650 and you know it's got the stagger it's got the stun accumulation that you know the raids at high cost should uh, have a lot of um, and you can do it while boosting also so I give this a slight edge over the A1 even though it's like a lower cost um, but I definitely for sure like if this does get a 650 it's, you're gonna see it you, you will see some, you will see it sometimes at um, 650 um, definitely strong at it's like what for what it is um at low cost it's literally probably the best raid at 500 um 550 it can still hang like you know it's got it's starting to get competition there with the Baowu uh but I feel like the, the Baowu is the only one that really outshines this suit in terms of what it does um but yeah this suit is very well built like you can build it pretty tanky like obviously not too much with the ballistic but beam resist and melee resist and i have like decent melee because you know it's this triple down swing suit so it's always even if you even if you dropped it all the way down to base melee strength like you always going to do a lot of damage with this thing because it's just ridiculous that triple down swing is is insane um also the beam rifle is pretty insane too like being able to rapid fire um from range it stuns on two hits and you can basically keep shooting it's not as fast as Hyakushiki beam rifle but it's like the second fastest i would say that's the e pack um i'm pretty sure well it yeah it's the second fast that EPAP is Toad is like the fast is exactly the same as Shiki's. Um, but also, this has got missiles, and when you boost forward, you see the shoulder binders like um, flip forward to actually give it more damage reduction. Plus, on top of its maneuver armor level 2, right, the thing is pretty much a wall when it's, it's a, like a boosting wall, you know. Um, and obviously it's going to stun you pretty quickly with those missiles especially if he already shot you with a beam rifle shot like he's going to stun you even faster and then get on top of you you know and just melt your health with triple down swing combo um, also one of the st most, one of the stylish uh, raids in the game um, like just the way it, um, after a down swing when it goes into like little pose like it's like yeah <laughs> i don't know what that pose is but it looks cool um but obviously that's not to do with why it's up here you know it's definitely i think in my opinion is better than the suit style below it you know um 
yeah it's definitely better than the suits below just the base of what it can do um very versatile suit um super strong and that is going to be our charger for number six and we're going to move on to number five now we're in the top five section where in my opinion these are the suits that you probably see like I'm like you know they're definitely the suits that you're going to see in 650 the majority of the time um maybe not too much number five but um i've seen people bring out it and do very well with it at 650 so yeah and yeah final thoughts for our judger like it i when it gets it 650 um it's just gonna be a lot more a lot more tanky just slightly more tanky in it so i feel like it will be able to hang at 650 for sure um yeah next up number five is the hum Ruby. now this suit is notorious <laughs> when it came, first came out like everybody's like bro this thing is busted like this it's a transformation it just melts everything to shreds um it needs a knife like you know like i'm glad they didn't touch it because i was thinking like this suit doesn't need enough like it only only really does really good when you're actually good with it it's like a skill gap suit it's a high skill gap suit it's actually it's more skillful than the Arjaja in my opinion because um, you can't boost and stun anything um, you have to either charge to stun or hit them twice to stun which is another thing I have to point out the buff for the Hummer B wasn't like it wasn't a direct buff to him but it was more the Fedeim rifle which made it be able to stun in two hits which obviously in, re in return like makes the suit a lot more viable and now it can um you know it does a good job at breaking maneuver armor but um yeah with damage control not so much so i mean it's gonna do decent against like phases and you know stuff like that obviously in transformation like it's obviously a lot more better you just spam those beams and you're gonna stun a lot of suits pretty fast and you can actually obviously transform out of it and if you're pretty slick you can like you can you can like get a hit on something and, and like then heavy stagger them and you can just keep get your combo going and like that's the the skill with this suit is actually trying to start off your combo it's not easy to start off the combo you have to you have to make yeah you have to do a risky play like by hitting someone with your bayonet without you know then predicting you and getting tackled and then setting up for your heat rod um or just blind sight and then with the hero sometimes that could be tricky just just depending on they move slightly and you weren't expecting to move then you just miss your heat rod then you kind of like stand in there and they just look at you maybe shoot you or you know it, it just basically requires a little bit more thinking with this suit but once you get to thinking the suit becomes literally top five this is literally top five uh, raids in my opinion um, yeah, definitely a terror in the right hands. Um, like it's got double dodge roll. Like is like this was one of the suits that it was like it's literally got everything. Like what what are we supposed to do against this thing? Obviously later down the line they start realize that like, the Hummer B is not that bad. We got the Cubely, you know, and all that stuff that can pretty much eat it up. And yeah, but yeah, the Hummer B still holds its ground as one of the best raids in the game um, yeah and number five next up is actually a 600 cost suit um shouldn't be surprised about this though really like the bawu now the bawu is why it's up here and why it's higher than the harm ruby and it's only a 600 cost is um the fact that it's a lot more easier to use um you can also build this suit tanky it's also got a shield 
it's got Dojo and it's just got cr uh, a crazy arsenal like for what it like is the <laughs> Like I'm, I'm really like I'm really thinking like what made them think that this would be like okay at 550 like this thing is OP at 550 it, it really is like it should have been level 1 600 bro like cuz at 600 it, it, it's it's the best raid at 600 you know it can't be the best at you, you know, it's it's kind of it was meant to fall off a little bit. Like it was meant to like wait, six hundred cross eyes, ah, not so good. We got better suits, but no, like this suit is still the best at six hundred cross. It, it's still the best at six hundred cross. Like you got the Kaplan, but like the only reason that I don't put it up above Kaplan is the fact that it doesn't actually have a six fifty cross. Like I'll put, I'm putting the Gaplant over the over the top of this, but only like just slightly, just because of the buffs. Like this is the best. It, it like I would put this above the Gaplant. In fact, I should do that, but it's too late. <laughs> but like, like it's very close between the two. Like Gaplant obviously got buffed. Um, but yeah, I'm putting it. Uh, I'm putting the bow at number four just because it actually doesn't have a 650 cost. If it did have an actual 650 cost, like I'm putting it above the plant like all day. The this suit is so versatile. Um, any type of match, uh, you want bases destroyed, like you got your bow, like you know, you want like it will destroy everything. Like it deletes, it deletes supports. Like it can delete raids. Like with those miss, like if you get hit by this thing, it's going to delete you. And if you're not deleted, your legs are actually broken. And they would do that to generals and raids. Um, raids may may or may not survive it. The missiles, uh, you know, the combo and then into the missiles. Uh, it may not may or may not survive, but if they do survive, legs are broken, and the same goes for the generals. And yeah, this this is definitely could be number three. Definitely could be number three, especially if it gets 650. Yeah, just keep this in mind. If the 650 Baru comes out, use the Baru over the Kaplan. Right, that's that's my uh, you know that's my thoughts about that. Use the Bauru above the Kaplan because this suit is literally the. I mean, I've got a match and I should upload that uh, very soon. I probably might upload it next, but I've got a lot of videos to upload. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. But I did uh, 198,000 damage with this thing at 550 cost. I'm like, this thing is just completely busted. I can take five. I like the the clan matches when we did the um. It was a six hundred clan match, and I was like, I brought out the Bauru. That was a five fifty Bauru in the six hundred room, and I was doing very well with it. And I I didn't even build it how I built it now. I do think that because I built it tanky now, and I still got like nearly two hundred thousand damage in that five fifty um room that I played. I might upload uh, later or maybe tomorrow. This thing is disgusting, and at 650, you'd be able to build it tanky and probably add a little bit more damage to it. So, yeah, Bauru number four, and obviously you already know what's next. Um, for the Gaplan. Yeah, the reason why I have this suit at number three is because of how easy the suit is. Um, all you really need to do is get used to how the floatiness. Like it is big, but it's got um like the it's got the uh, the the buffers on the shoulders, uh, well the arms there. Um, so it's definitely it's definitely tanky. You can build it very tanky. Um, and then you know also is it got buffed to the point where now it's got extra range on the the sub weapons. So and it's uh, the stun accumula uh, accumulation is higher so now you can break maneuver armor like shot dampeners whatever a lot easier shoot shoot um mobile suits are flying out of the sky a lot more faster like 
does ridiculous amounts of damage on this downswing. Um, and it, it can hang back and play from range also, especially with the buffs where I can actually beam rifle and then switch to the sub weapons and actually just like follow up with the that with the um basically the, the burst shot. Um, and so it it just it just holds its ground as still one of the best 650s. Even though it doesn't start at 650, it still can hold its ground at 650. Um, definitely, definitely strong. Um, it's going to have a, a good time at this cost range. Uh, like I said earlier, like I would put the Bau above this suit. Uh, just because how Bau is, 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 is insane. It's a lot more uh, uh, sleeker and it's got shields. So in return, sometimes it will survive longer than a Kaplan. If you get focused while you're in the Kaplan, like it's pretty easy for suits to just kind of pin you down because you're like you're a big target, you know. So it has a little bit of skill gap because of that, because it's like a big suit. But once you once you've mastered this suit, it's definitely going to be something to be scared of the support is going to be scared of you for sure um they're like the faz and all that the c1 um is it's gonna have a decent time against this because also it can like you can shoot from pretty far um it's gonna do a lot of damage if it gets close and break shot dampeners also it'll have good time at breaking like maneuver armor suits um like Dovin and stuff like that, you can you can break those. Um, so yeah, just yeah, keep that in mind with the Kaplan. Like the Kaplan is still top tier, but it's not exactly. Um, I would like it's just it just beats the Bauru because the Bauru doesn't have a 650. But I know that like, I probably would use the Bauru 600 more than the Kaplan but the Kaplan is like the Masala for me like like I don't have the Masala yet and like this is the closest thing to Masala <laughs> so it's like I would play this still like but yeah this suit is obviously um, way more stronger at a 550 cost but obviously that it competes with the Bauru there and I feel like the Bauru is a lot more stronger. Like like I said, I would have put the Bauru above the Kaplan if the Bauru actually had a higher cost. Uh, so there is that. So yeah, Gaplan at number three and you guys probably already know what's gonna come up next. If you don't then uh, you might be living under a rock, but at number two is the newly brought out raid. Um, well, not the newly one, but the new newest 650, and actually level one is the Mark Five. Uh, you see, I've got my Mark Five in uh, Amaro Ray colors, kind of thing. <laughs> now, but this suit is very interesting um it's basically it's basically like a dolven wolf in a way without the chest particle cannon um with dodge roll you know it's it's very what can i say it, it can put a lot of pressure onto you it also has decent uh stun accumulation the like the incomes and like the shoulder cannons do well the shoulder cannons do a lot of damage but in conjunction with the two like you can get a lot of, you can get a good stagger accumulation build up with that uh, so it's great for getting phases um, it also has the offense system where if you clash with something you can dash out of it. That is actually a very useful skill if you learn how to actually use that properly. Um, it's got a massive shield. Um, like the, the shield, the shield hitbox doesn't really help it too too much. To be fair, doesn't really help it too too much. 
but it's nice to have that you know if you if you if you know how to manipulate shields um that like based on how you move them like you can basically get them to hit your shield quite often uh yeah this suit is basically a hyper beam saber it's a shorter version of the hyper beam saber but it's basically a hyper beam saber so if you if you're getting like confused on how like how is this suit like clipping me from so far it's like it's even got a little bit of a phantom range with the saber um it it just it just does so much damage as well it's like 2900 um base damage like, it's like bro like this thing hits like a truck the video i uploaded with this i literally had no parts on it um because I, I was on my old account i had no parts on it and i did amazing with it top damage and i literally had just health part and shield part or something i don't even know i can't even remember but i had like one or two parts in there that really didn't really affect it its performance you know but um yeah mark 5 and number two and obviously number one cubely mark 2 um or is it a cubely mark 2 or is it just the general uh, uh, <laughs> now like cubely mark 2 definitely definitely number one for obvious reasons i like this part i'm not really gonna go into it like because it's kind of you know everybody knows the cubely mark 2 is number one damage output is ridiculous the funnels are ridiculous you know it can boost and shoot stun you in two hits with the funnels the full of funnels it's got good poke like you know being able to shoot funnels around corners and stuff and not give give away your uh, a line of sight to you uh, this uh, the the shoulder buffers 30% like it's it's tanky and you build it tanky it's just that more obnoxious to even take down double dodge roll maneuver armor level 2 it's like I mean what else can you ask for <laughs> like funnels the prong do 10k or 12 no 12k to like phases and just completely deletes every support in the game like in one combo it can delete excesses in one combo uh dovens on certain in ca certain cases if doven doesn't uh you know have fully enhanced and can make the build um where he has like 40 odd uh, melee resistance this thing is still deleting that like from full HP uh, yeah you basically a standard Dovin not enhanced is gonna get deleted um, they don't invest into melee resistance so I mean you know and it, it breaks legs with the prong it breaks heads like it, it's stupid it's stupid strong and obviously this is going to be the strongest raid in the game for, for a long time it's and like even when the other uh, 650 level one suits come out this suit is still going to be in the top five for sure i don't know what else they can bring out that's going to top this but whatever it is that's going to be scary if it's going to top this like right like come on man all right so yeah that is my top 10 raids at 650 um next i'll be doing supports but i'm going to try and wait for the girl mode to come out to actually do that but yeah i uh, enjoy i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one god bless